Um, my name is Ed Marquand. I've published art books for museums around the country. Over the years, we've produced books for about 200 different art museums. In 2005, a small band of us uh, came into Titan. Um, you probably know that. Not quite yet. Okay. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Just studying and studying. Okay. 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 Um, anyway, uh, my my we we. I ran into goat heads on my, pop my tires that um, created an opportunity for me to get stuck in Titan for a few hours. That was enough to get me to kind of start to imagine the possibilities. Um, and with that, let's take it away. So tonight my goals are to attract one or two creative entrepreneurs to Titan and to inspire others to do something audacious, romantic, risky, and rewarding. Um, the theme that will run through tonight is creative ambition. The people I respect most in life are people who are hugely creatively ambitious. Um, what inspired us about Titan? Well, it was the empty space. There were many, many empty buildings. And we looked around and started to imagine, many designers and artists and people we brought over from Seattle, what could take place here all in the spirit of this hugely ambitious creative ambition. When we started Mighty Titan in 2005, we listed many ideas for businesses. They included all sorts of things from metal fabrication to, um, to bookmaking, to furniture design, prototyping, uh, catering food products, uh, microbreweries, you name it, we, we threw it on the table. And this is what Titan looked like before. It was a pretty sad town. It's not hugely prosperous now, but in 2005, it had not had a building permit application in uh, three years. Ours was the first, and the first project that we took on was to develop Titan Lofts. We took a uh, 28,000 square foot storage building that you see on the right, on the left, I mean, and turned it into 14 very comfortable, very beautiful lofts. We developed them in 2007, sold them all in 2008, mostly to people who were involved in conceptualizing Titan from the beginning. In Titan, if you've been um, to Titan, <coughs> it has a reputation for being an arts place, but we really see art as being <coughs> a point of entry for, the, for people kind of getting their heads around what Titan is. So we have concerts and, uh, and gallery exhibitions. We started Mighty Titan events. We rent out space uh, for a number of events in the community. Uh, we are a, a venue for weddings and family reunions. We've had very elegant private dinner parties there and a whole series of events that are all listed on the handout that Sylvia gave you earlier on. We started Titan Arts and Humanities because we needed a non-profit. Mighty Titan is a for-profit entity. It is not a non-profit. It may not make any money, but it's not structured <laughs> as a for-profit. Um, the uh, Trimpen is an internationally known artist. He's a sound sculptor. He makes sculpture that makes music. Um, he took a look at one of the warehouse rooms that we have, one of the cold storage rooms, next to the loft, and put in this amazing uh, piece of, series of sculptures, and that part of what will be happening is going to be growing fast this summer. Uh, Goathead Press, uh, Karen, and, Karen Quint and Faye and Bob Jones started. It's a wonderful uh, small press, fine arts press, they take memberships, you can become a member to come and work there, and they also produce uh, uh, beautiful prints regularly. Lit Fuse was the first um, annual event that we have. It's now in its seventh year, and we draw poets from, from around the region, but also from around the country to be the poets who are, who are lecturing. Um, this year, the pre-registrations are just sort of off the charts, and I think it's because of the faculty we're able to get. The connection with the community, with the Titan and Upper Valley community, has grown very, very steadily um, and through fun activities, but particularly the Dia de los Muertos. 
Um, this year we've added a juried exhibition that will involve altars and art. Um, details on the website. So every December we have a chandelier festival and holiday craft bazaar. Um, and we started it with one tiny little thing. I think 25 people showed up. And, and uh, this past year, it, it was really very, very popular. One of the businesses that started <clears throat> pretty soon after we started was El Nido Cabins. Lori Talcott, a jeweler, and her husband Robert from uh, Seattle bought three little duplex cabins, fixed them up, and rent them out. And that's one place, one, one, one place for people to stay in time. I started Paper Hammer Studios as an extension of Marquand Books, my museum publishing operation. I have a letterpress studio, a screen printing studio, a bindery, and we are really busy. It is so hard to keep up with the orders or the requests for quotations. I also opened Paper Hammer, uh, a retail shop in downtown Seattle. My, my office in Seattle is kind of behind the Seattle Art Museum. This store is the storefront presence. And uh, it's also a point of entry for people who are curious about Titan, don't know about it, they buy products, everything is branded, made in Titan. We, uh, Kerry Quint, one of, the, one of the instigators from the beginning, started Mighty Titan Construction and makes some extraordinarily beautiful furniture and uh, some of the fixtures. This is a table he made for the loft gallery. Titan Cider Works is our uh, poster child for successful businesses. In 2008, they started with 200 cases of cider. This year, they're projected to produce 73,000 cases of cider. They've gone, in those few years, to the 20th largest winery in Washington State. Um, Titan Farm and Creamery uh, also started up, um, and Lori and Ruth Babcock, uh, I don't know two women who work harder, they are producing some of the most delicious cheese in the country. Um, there's a distributor in Chicago who, is, who services high-end restaurants. He says, we'll take everything you got. Um, so anyway, going back to this list, there are many, many businesses that would still make sense in Titan. I hope that you or people you know or, or uh, people you hear about, that you'll make the connection because um, Mighty Titan is just getting started. Thanks so much.